Hi everyone. So now we will integrate API with the put method in our React Native application. Why we use the put method to update the data and what we want to update there. So in last part we created a dialog box and we are prefilling the data already there like the username, email ID and age and all right. They are already populating in that. So now what we will do there. We will collect the data of these input fields and send to the API. After that, the data will be updated, right? So if uh, we are talking about the points, firstly, we will collect the data from input fields with the help of state. After that, we will uh, create a function so that uh, we can call API through the put method and update this data in the database. After that, we will close the dialog box and refresh that the uh, list also so that the same time once we will just update the data in dialog box data will be reflect there also perfect now we can start with the code so firstly we can just hide this explorer so that we have more area to write code and what i'm going to do i am just uh, we already have three states right uh, here you can see that name age and email id so what i'm going to do there i am just putting a event and i will update these state value once we are just changing something changing means uh, we are let's say we are entering some value in any of these fields and data will be updated uh, at the same time in a state so what we can do there on change text if we have this uh, uh, event there in react native and what we can do there it will basically return the text and we can update set name in the text like this all right same thing we can uh, with the same way we can update the age also so let me update the age set age and lastly with the same way what we can do there we can set set email id hmm. okay after that, how we will check that everything is working fine or not, is data updated or not. We can do, we can create one more button there. So let me create, uh, so that we can save and update the data, whatever you want to put the name, you can say that. Let me just put this update user. And uh, we don't need to call this uh, function, close function there. We can simply create another function. Let's say the function name will be update user, right? And let me create this function also there const update user and for a moment i am just uh, consoling the name age and uh, email id so that we can check that are we getting updated value or not there so uh, yeah one more thing there is a no space between two buttons so what i'm going to do there i'm not focusing on much style so i will just create simple view and putting some margin there so uh, style margin bottom it could be let's say 15 pixel 10 pixel whatever you want to add perfect so now uh, i did not update any value there so let's say i just try to update a batman so i did not update any value and once i just click on the user update user here you can see that we got the same value batman age and batman email id also perfect so and now let's say i'm just updating its age 45 and email id right like this like this and after that if i will uh, just click over the update user you can see that we got the updated value because we bind these states with the own change text event with each of these respective field perfect now what we need to do we have to send this data to the api like previously we just uh, uh, called the get method and delete method with the same way now we have to call the put method put method is as i told you which, which is basically used for uh, update the data so what i'm going to do there firstly i will just create a url right let me take const url like this and we have to change this ip address with the 
zero point two point two, so that Android system can get the data from the local IP. Perfect. One more thing that we need, like we have the old data, but which user we will update there? Like user Batman, how we will get to know that the, we are updating the Batman? We need its ID. And how we can get the ID? Like as you know, previously we are passing the props for selected user. There we are already getting the name, email ID, and uh, age and all. Now we will get with the same way we will get the uh, ID there. So ID will be in a props dot selected user dot ID. Perfect. And why we will just how we will use this ID? We will pass this ID like there at the, in the uh, at the end of URL so that API will know that which ID we uh, ID we have to update right? right. So why I am not adding this ID there because this is the base URL I will add in the fetch method only. So the next thing we can take a result literal. So let me just put there await and for await because we are handling the promise there. So we have to use the await and async. So we need this async function. After that, simply put, put there fetch URL and in a second parameter, we have to tell method that we want to use. We are using their post method. We have to set the headers also. And in the headers, we have to set only one thing, which is content type. So I'm putting there. Content type could be, let's say, application JSON. Perfect. And after that, we have to send the body also. When we are sending the body, we have to convert this data in the Stingify format. So let's change name, email, and age in a Stingify format. Perfect. After that, if we will get the data result then we have to just convert in the JSON format because by default API is written read stream format. So I will again use the promise because um, when we are converting read stream to the JSON, it will again return the promise. Perfect. Now at last we'll check if result is updated, we can print the result there only. Result and we don't need this. Uh, Guys, we don't need this. So there is a, another one, right? So we don't need this. Next thing, we have to add this ID in the URL. Then how we can use? Simply put the backticks. The backticks, we can use a template literal URL slash again uh, because this is uh, only the string part. So we are just putting outside the dollar and brackets. And again, ID is a variable. So we are using, or you can see that constant we are using inside the dollar and brackets. So URL is perfect. I think uh, now it should work. So what I'm going to do now, I am just changing uh, this sunny one to the normal sunny, right? So let me just see that I'm updating its name as well as age. I'm just putting the age um, 18 for a moment. Updating this user. Here you can see that we got the updated result. Sunny email ID and age also there. Let me just show you the age also. Like this but still there is a issue if I'm just closing it you can see that the still name is a sunny one and age is still the previous value so you have to refresh it once and after that you will get the updated value let's wait for a moment yeah now you can see that the name and uh, age is updated but this is not how actually applications work so what we need to do the same thing should update at the same time and how we can do that we have to call this uh, get API method again. It will just set the state again and re-render the data. Perfect. And how we can call this method from the modal? We have to pass it as a, a props. Like previously, we are just sending the set open dialog and selected user. So we can pass this function as a props. And now inside the uh, condition if result is there then props dot uh, get API data we can just call it and again we have to call this 
closed dialog box also because once data is updated there there the dialog box should be closed so again put the props dot dialog box could be false and now let's check again again i am updating the batman so let's say i want to just change the age of the batman 20 to 30 batman is getting older right so here you can see that the value is updating with the same way now let's try with the same sam i'm changing its age with 30 and uh, sam i'm changing with the same lamba the two names just updating again and here you can see that details are updated the perfect so this is the way that how we can update till now we completed the get uh how we can just show the list how we can delete update and store the data in next part we will learn how we can search the data also right so thank you so much and i'll request you to please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section and this is my donation thank you guys thank you so much